Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Lust and Regret. It's now time for this week's Strip Club Yelp Reviews. Yep. It's now time for this week's Strip Club Yelp Reviews. And this week we are in New Orleans. New Orleans, Louisiana. The Big Easy is what the town is called. Is it the same for the ladies? Let's find out. Um, we went to, I think, um, Larry Flint's Hustlers Club a couple of weeks ago, if I That's vaguely right. remember. We were there um, for sure. This week, apparently he's got a, a different a spin-off brand. And we're going to be talking about Larry Flint's Barely Legal Club. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. The strip club is multiple... seriously called Barely Legal? Yes. That's yes. not a trap. I don't know what is. Right. I don't know. I'm not sure. I feel I probably feel a bit uncomfortable walking into a club called Barely Legal. But, uh... It's name of one of his magazines. And yeah, the, the chicks are 18, 19, and maybe, maybe 20. But if they're older than that, they go to the Hustler Club they, or they don't they work at all. They to the Hustler Club. Um, so let's find out what the locals are saying. Um, AA didn't want to give his full name, it's right, which is, I guess, I respect. Uh, he writes, I had heard some good things about this club, so I stopped by. The first girl I saw was decent. Oh. Her name is Harley. All the caps, so I don't know why you had to put that. She came up to me, and the first words out of her mouth were, quote, I'm not nice. Oh. Go away then. <laughs> that was my response to her. Yeah, fuck off. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah, I don't. If you're not nice, I don't want to hang out with you. I'm not trying. But the to way he writes it, I don't know if if the way he writes it is matched with the way she said it, because it's like dot dot dot. What is that? What's the actual right name of it? Is it ellipses? Dot dot dot. Uh, uh yeah, yes, ellipses. So I'm not nice. Dot dot dot. As if there was like some cliffhanger and that they were both staring at each other, waiting for the next person to speak, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So he says that was a little off-putting, but her tits were decent, so I went with it. <laughs> By the way, everyone's preference for tits are different, so her tits could be hanging to her knees and be like, that's what I've been looking for the entire night. Or, or they could be just rock hard, made not even made out of silicone, made out of just like Elmer's glue. Like, Elmer's glue has been pumped into this woman's chest cavity. Anyways, uh, everyone's yeah, I'm not gonna, tits are nice or different. I'm not going to judge any like you know, I'm not going to, you know, each, but my personal choice is if, if I'm working my way down a woman, if I can tell whether you've got an innie or an outie before I can see your nipples, I'm out. That's, that's just a personal choice. Personal choice. Interesting. But uh, there you go. So yeah, her tits were decent. So he went with it. And honestly, it was downhill from there. And when I say downhill, I mean a 90 degree angle. It was the edge of a cliff. And at Whoa. the bottom of the cliff was the ocean. Whoa. What dot, happened? dot, dot. We need to hear what happened. I try not to use these words when I describe women. Uh-oh. But the first word that came to mind was trash pile well it could have been worse it could have been a lot worse to be fair when, the way he built that up um there is no reason there is no reason why you should be telling me about your personal life as a customer i haven't even given you any money yet as a traveling salesman i've been to clubs in just about every state in the country and that was hands down the worst stripper i've ever met oh well, he's kind of an asshole, then. I mean, he should... It, it, yeah, it's just make him not look like an asshole. Maybe you should go into a little bit more detail. Like, maybe, you know, don't kiss and tell, but... Like, what was she Was she just saying? Uh, I've had a shit day. My dad's an asshole. Like, then whatever. But if it's, like, super personal, like, oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm on uh, antibiotics because uh, I got a little bit too crazy the other night at work and now i have 
yeast coming out of every pore, then you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. All right, it's too much, too much, Harley. Back it up. But uh, <laughs> I think I broke Kush on that one. But um, <laughs> please keep going. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. I had my mouth full. I couldn't swallow. <laughs> That's what she said. That anyway. is what she said. Oof. Next one. Stephen P. writes. What does Stephen P. writes? Uh, this is a crooked business. Was overserved and coerced into the champagne room and charged an ungodly amount of money for an experience that I don't even remember. Blame. Just your fault. That is your fault. Do not drink too much at this step. Do not drink much too much at any establishment. Everywhere. Steven. Anywhere. Even. Yes, Stephen. They Try will take full advantage yourself. of you and take you for everything you are worth. Even after puking in the room from being so intoxicated, puking they still the thought I was coherent enough to consent to more time in the room and charge me accordingly. Keep an eye on your drink or avoid at all costs. So now he's kind of alluding to, now he's suggesting that if someone's yeah. put something in his drink, that's not what he said earlier in the review. That's just saying that he, they overpoured his drinks. Yeah, Stephen's a fucking dickhead. But um, he said, because he he Stephen, you said you don't even remember the night. So how'd you know you threw up? Huh? Maybe you threw up on the way home. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you taste it in your mouth the next day. You yeah, but, no, but, but, but you, you, how do you know he threw up in the strip club? That's what I'm saying. He could have thrown up on the way home, in the cab on the way home, or I don't know. You get those flashes. You get those flashes. I guess. I mean, I'm the, not the worst time I had for corporations, but... where I drank too much and almost threw up, did not throw up. Uh, I just some gas built up and then I burped and I was like, oh my God, thank God. But now I'm in the bathroom. But then I went back to my lap dance and I went like, you're great. But. I just had a situation. I need to leave before you guys kick me out because that was a problem and I don't want that. So adios. Happy New Year. And I will see you next time if I see you again. I feel responsible. Yeah, you got to be responsible. That was 2015. Take notes, Stephen. Honestly, yeah, yeah Stephen, you're a... Oops, I almost dropped a fucking slur there. Stephen, you're an asshole. Wondering what slur he was going to use for this yeah, unknown well, racial background man slur. named Stephen. You'll have to use the. Uh, it, it would it would be inappropriate, but uh, also just like really, he was in a, he was in a female strip club. Why would you say that? Oh, I see. Okay, I see what you mean. But yes. Anyway, um, finally Geraldine M writes. Oh, Geraldine. Geraldine, she sounds fun. This is another one that's like. You don't judge anyone by their cover, but if someone walks in and they go, oh, this is meet Geraldine. I'm going to be like, oh, Jesus, I bet she's fun. I, you just don't assume anyone called Geraldine is fun. No, that's the grandma's name. Like, shorten it. Jerry? Oh, I want to hang out with Jerry. Like Jerry Hallowell from the Spice Girls. So sure, much sure. fun. Okay. Right. Geraldine? Sure. No thanks. Anyway. What did she say? Loved this club setup, but not the way the girls were so whiny and complaining the whole time. Unbelievably annoying to hear them complain and complain about making less than $200. The dancer should seriously get a re reality check from her boss. Hope this isn't your real name, but Megan... Why would Megan be a fake name? Why would you assume Megan's a fake name? It's a perfectly normal name. If it was like, if this is your real name, Optimus Prime, like then, yeah, all right, <laughs> fine. That's probably not her real name. But Megan, I believe Megan's her real name. I, um, I can tell you I've met a woman who went by the name Molly, but then through other weird channels, found out her name was something completely different. And it's still normal, but her name was not Molly. Maybe it was a play on the drug. Uh, possibly. Yeah, you're not wrong. Don't take drugs, kid. Anyway, Megan, honey, 
You really shouldn't tell your customers that. It's a disrespect because I make less and I am still coming here to spend money. Not only did you do that, but you also want to offer my man a dance for $40 or $100 dances. That's a really fucked up sentence, but whatever. Anyway. So, all right. So she's upset that she's offering her husband dances, I guess. Yes. But then if you don't want your man to have dances, why are you going to a strip club with him? Doesn't so any... normally when couples go to a strip club, the two of them will have a dance. And it's really not any different. 40 bucks, $100, whatever. It's both of those, the man and the woman are in the, in the booth, whether it's the regular booth or the super duper VIP booth, whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah, like there's, there's a couple dances. They, they are not any, any more expensive than just a regular lap dance. Geraldine continues. Oh, shit. Go, I understand it's your preference and hustle, but it's a huge problem when the management didn't see her practically rub one out on, on him mm -hmm. in the 10 minute dancing session. So she basically, she, she had like a personal DJ session, I guess, in the private okay. room. Chica, 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 chica. Um, I overheard my own husband, my own husband. Tell his best friend what happened in the back. It took everything in me not to run back into the club and be violent. Oh my god! Yeah, see, this is the problem. I am in my own anger toward my husband. Why? What's wrong? What did he do? He went like he went for a private dance. She, she like diddled herself in front of him. Be mad at her, not him. What does he? What? What? What was he gonna do? This is the um, problem with bringing your lady to the strip club. Um, more times than not, you guys are just trying to find a new way to make sex in the bed exciting, and let's go to the strip club. But also, also more times than not, that's a contradiction. But still, but still, jealous girlfriends be jealous. Um. She ends with, uh, she has more anger towards the shit staff that isn't controlling their, quote, independent contractors. Have a good one, Nola. I won't be back. And Geraldine, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to assume that New Orleans will not miss you. So it's, yeah, it's, right. it's you know, it's, it's, it, she went on everyone's vacation. Happy. She, she tried a new experience. She did not like it and reacted just less than volatilely or violently. I don't know which one that's more. Anyway, yeah, Geraldine did not have a good time that night. No, oh. but also, and I bet Geraldine's husband didn't have a fun night either afterwards. I, it sounds actually like he had a little too much, too much fun. Like Geraldine's right here, and he's just like, "Yeah, more money, more money." <laughs> well, right? Here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a little tip for the men. So Geraldine's husband, unnamed husband, right? If so, by the sounds of it, by the way they're describing it, it was like Geraldine, Geraldine's husband, Geraldine's husband's friend, and maybe there was another person there. So maybe it was like a double date kind of thing oh, couples friends more than just a couple okay I, I missed that i'm sorry so he she overheard him telling his friend what happened in the private room mm -hmm. unless this is like the first time that you're finding out that you have a jealous partner just wait until she's not around to tell her the story or text him Oh shit! This happened while I was in the private room. Why? I shut the fuck up, Mister Jody. I don't know. I wish Jody and mentioned his name, Dave. Mr. If that Mr. is Geraldine. your real name, um. But there, there you go. There's a lot of dumb people this week, yeah. and I'm not. Yeah, you know, these were all one stars, but you know, I'm. I'm gonna defend Larry Flint's barely legal club. Um, just you just got a bunch of dumbasses there. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, again, sing, single man here and, and probably single for a reason. Well, definitely single for a reason, but probably single for another reason. Anyways, um, the last place I want to go to with my girlfriend or my wife, my fiance, my significant other is my Spouse. favorite club. I, yeah, I, I go to that place to get away from you. And I swear to God, I'm not going to cheat on you. Like again, Chris Rock said, "There's no sex in the champagne room." I'm abiding by that. We're we're not doing any of that. But I'm trying to get away from you for a minute, bitch. Leave me alone. And don't, but then, best come, case scenario, after a couple of beers, up after a couple of dances, suddenly I'm coming home a motivated man. So she's going to benefit from this as well. Maybe. But also, women are also uncomfortable about that. Well, not important it, in this conversation right now. Women, but, women, but women still, don't like it when their men come home clearly aroused by another woman. No, probably not. Not that they know of. I mean, no. If you don't say like, I was just at the strip club and you come home with a rager. And you, yeah, they don't want to hear that. But if you just come home and tag them. They're like, oh my God, he was so passionate that night. Ah. You should go to bingo every Saturday night. He was just Saturday watching night. the Euro final. Oh my god, <laughs> England lost, but still. Oh. All right. Anyway, let's wrap this segment up. Gee, you ruined it now. <laughs> <laughs> we was having fun, and then you ruined it. All right. I'm sorry. I'm so yeah, Larry Flint's Barely Legal Club in New Orleans. Uh, by all means, go, but don't drink too much, and don't take your significant other, and you should have a good time. Seriously, guys, figure this shit out. That's all, folks. Play me off, Johnny.